All right, Tom. Oh, you doing your stretchies? Okay, are you done with your stretchies now? <laughs>
things and here's ketchup's house um i had the idea for ketchup's house for several days before i actually put it into place and that idea was to give ketchup a fruit themed home so you see she's got the fruit chair here the peach chair she's got the orange rug and orange clock right here and then of course she has to have the apple tv with you know ketchup bottles because you know ketchup and then a little fruit basket she has pizza yummy pizza and then she's got one cooking and she's got one ready to serve uh i went with a moroccan feel with the furniture and the lighting here i thought it fit her kind of perfectly and of course we had to go red with the walls and all that very i just i think it fits ketchup very well and it's it's just very homey and when i think of ketchup i think homey i don't know why i just do this is her house i think her name is laura yes laura's house is also pink very pink very very pink i like her teddy bear and this is toby's house it's kind of like it looks like a desert kind of because it's got this giant rock here and it's it's got this crystal so it's basically it's basically a desert Okay, so for Maddie, I finally ended up going with kind of a princess theme. So you see, she's got the knight in shining armor here. This reminds me of, you know, like an old, your old tiny princess bride type feel. And then, of course, she has to have a tea party. But uh, since she's a dog, she also has to have dog themed things like the bone rug right here. The bone t-shirt right there with a crown because you know she's a princess and then an arfoid little green arfoid so this is maddie's house i think it fits very well after i ended up giving her more of a princess theme than the original theme that i had thought of for her and then we have my least favorite character's house this is Bub bubsy's house bubsy is uh very arrogant he doesn't like anybody but himself uh this is his house Actually, he does have a crush on Maximilian, who's my husband, so, you know, another reason I don't like him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so this is his house. It's green, and it's it's also kind of nature themed because he's, you know, actually a bird. He's like a bird person. Okay, so this is Sherb's house. As you can see, I kind of went in the same direction with Sherb's house that I went with Bob's house. The purple kind of lazy boy, um direction uh we got the like outdoor look for the furniture which i thought was really cool the log furniture and then we've got the ranch bed with a couple of ranch kitchen pieces that i thought really worked and of course sure also has to have a little reading corner right here and then this rug is perfect to just kind of chill out and sit down this is Sherb's house. We went with a purple, white, vintagey, lazy type of theme here, and I really like it. And this is Lilith's house. I almost married Lilith, I will have you know. I was really close to marrying Lilith because she's a cool witch. <laughs> so this is Lilith's house. And Lilith is a really cool witch, so her house is purple and gold themed, and I, I just love it. <laughs> This is May's house. May runs the decoration shops, so her house is like this pretty... Mm, I don't know if minty is the right word, but something along those lines. So here we have Julian's home, and Julian had the, like, Celeste themed style of home originally, and I didn't really think that... I mean, it fit him, but I didn't really like it. But I kept a small aspect of the space theme by giving him the throwback rocket in the back there. But for the most part, what I did was I gave him a kind of bachelor pad, high rise apartment feel. I have this like bachelor pad themed house. So he's got his, you know, his computer games here. He's got, he's got his switch and his TV here. He, uh, he has to have, you know, a massage chair because I just, I just feel it's so fitting. And of course I had to keep at least the star lights up top because I thought those were really cute. And then this, uh, diner clock, I think 
really fits with the the whole theme and i just i don't know i think this is really cute this little welcome welcome light here so this is this is julian's home and i think it just came out really really nice so we're gonna see dudley's house and it's very very natural very rustic it's kind of um book nerd themed i'd say Okay, so this is Judy's home, and what I kind of envisioned for Judy is what I like to call a pastel purple bear a dice. <laughs> she's got she's got bears everywhere. She's got this pink bear here. There's a purple bear up there with a little blue bunny next to it. Here's this tan bear here. I think this one is Mama's bear, Mama bear, and she's got an, uh, another little bunny here sitting and watching TV. She's got her TV with a switch because I just thought, thought she'd enjoy a switch, you know? And she's got her little mermaid corner here with her makeup as well. You can see the mermaid lamp and the mermaid clock. And then to continue the theme of mermaids, her music box is the shell. I thought that she would be perfect with a piano as a little musician. So this is Judy's home. And it just came out really, really cute, really light and airy and pastel-y. This is Dalton's house, so let's go in here. Dalton's is gray and red. Uh, very simple, because Dalton is kind of a simple character. Okay, this one is Ash's house, and it is also blue-themed, and he's got a sword, because I th he's, he's a miner. Like, not miner as in kid, but you know, he mines in the mines. <laughs> And so he has a sword because he fights off monsters when he is doing that. Okay, so Dom's house was one of my favorites that came out. I thought it came out so adorably. He's got a little gym type workout house because, you know, he's a jock. So he's got, he's got the basketball here and, you know, the, the little cage of basketballs. He's got a barbell here. Uh... I think this is called a kettleball. So he's got this weight, weight thingy, and then the the bike, of course, the stationary bike. Uh, and then he's also a little bit messy. So he's got the the sloppy bed, and then the sloppy table too. And I did not mean to turn the switch on. That's okay. And I thought. He, he could use a little TV, you know, because he doesn't want to distract himself from working out. So he's just got a little TV. But I also kind of feel like he might be a bit of a closet reader. So he got a few books here. And then, of course, he has the rock climbing wall and the watermelon rug. I just thought it was so cute. I just had to use it in one of the houses. And this house seemed to be perfect for it. So this is Dom's house. And I think, uh, I think it came out perfectly. It is one of my favorites that I did. I don't remember her name, but it starts with a Z, and this is her house. Xana! This is Xana's house. Xana's house is a pretty teal color. And yep, Xana's in her house, and look, her, her face matches her rug. <laughs> okay, so for Meringue's house, I imagine Meringue as being a little baker. And so she got a little baker's kitchen. So she, of course she has the colorful pretzels and the colorful cookies as well. She's got a little espresso machine because, you know, bakers, they just, they have to have their coffee, right? And her microwave, which doesn't really help with baking, but it matches the espresso machine. So there you go. Um, she's got some plants on the wall. She also has a little TV set up, but she has a switch light because I feel like she prefers playing handheld on the switch rather than on the tv and then the ranch kitchen i love and i really wanted her to have a, a just a big statement piece and that ended up being this clock that kind of goes with the the ranch furniture as well and then she's just got the little the ceiling paper paper ceiling i don't know what that's called banner i guess and obviously she loves to read too just like coco so this is Meringue's home, and I think it came out perfectly for Meringue. But Dark is a very important character to the storyline, and this is his house, and it's all black and with little bits of purple in the eyes here. It's black like his soul, which is dark. <laughs> but I put the houses in an in shape 
with my house right in the middle of the, you know, the little space of the inn. Like that. This is my house. I went with a nice little duplex look with the, whatever this is called, the gazebo outside. We've got Bob's house. Of course, everybody's house has some sort of touch of pink. So this is Bob's house with the hyacinth wreath, and there's his his mat on the ground. We got Coco's house. I kept the door um, for Coco's house because I love the sound it makes when you open it. And if she was inside her house, I would show you, but she's not. There's her little welcome mat. Here's Octavian. And he's got a little a gazebo as well. I like this gazebo. It goes with Octavian's outdoor house exterior theme there's his welcome mat we have ketchup's graveyard and then her house and i went with orange for her house because i went with a whole fruit theme thing for ketchup so the orange walls goes with the orange fruit there's her welcome mat as well here is maddie's house and i kept the shape of maddie's house because i love this shape i just changed the color She's got the bone welcome sign on her door, of course, and her little mat right there. We've got Sherb's house here. So this is Sherb's house. I also kept his shape and just changed the colors a bit around. There's his welcome mat on the ground. Here's Julian's house. I do believe Julian's house came out very different than his original house. It kind of looks like it kind of matches Bob's house. And then his little mat. Judy's house is almost what it looked like originally. I kept the cobblestone color and just gave her a pink roof and pink door. And there's her little welcome mat as well. Dom's house doesn't have a whole lot of pink, but you can see there's a touch of pink on the the walls or whatever. And then his, his welcome mat as well, if he'll move. <laughs> and finally, Meringue's house. Meringue also kept her cobblestone exterior and I only changed the roof and the doors for her as well and her little welcome mat. <laughs>